Fox 29, 10 o'clock news starts right now. Report on autism, the experimental treatment some parents say is working miracles. Clinic giving parents of autistic children new hope. How this special type of therapy is helping a local four-year-old communicate with his family. It's tonight's special report, The Autism Answer. Well, autism in kids is more common than childhood cancer, cerebral palsy, and Down syndrome. And parents are always looking for new ways to help their children cope. Well, now they are finding hope through hyperbaric oxygen therapy. 10 o'clock news reporter Dana Pally shows us how this treatment has changed many lives. Okay, hands on opposites. Four-year-old Aiden Lombardi has struggled to fit into the world since he was two years old. With traits of autism, his family turned to hyperbaric oxygen therapy to try to get him to improve his speech, behavior, and learning ability. Research studies have shown the pure oxygen can take pressure off the brain and increase the blood flow to the brain in autistic kids. And the more treatments he has, the better he gets, the more articulate he gets. When he was two years old, we couldn't touch him. Peter Pan? I'll touch. As parents look for ways to help their autistic kids cope, the hyperbaric oxygen chamber is one type of therapy which can be used in combination with diet, medication, and behavioral modification to help these kids. Watch your fingers. The kids spend an hour in the chamber and keep entertained with a movie. The clinic says a minimum of 20 sessions is necessary to see improvement. And the results are so amazing. Children that have never spoken a word before will start to speak. So word is just getting out from parent to parent. The use of hyperbaric chambers to treat autistic kids is still considered an alternative. But those who have seen the results are fighting for FDA approval. Because really, it's politics. Jim Grant is not worried about politics, but thinks more attention should be paid to make people more aware of the rapidly increasing amount of children diagnosed with autism. We have a long way to go. This is not an easy trail. I don't want to tell anybody that this is the answer. This is part of the answer. For families dealing with autistic kids, the South Florida Center for Hope is giving them hope. Someday their children will be able to lead somewhat of a normal life. In Deerfield Beach, Dana Pally, WPEC News 12. Now, Aiden's family says he's turning five in just 11 days and is doing much better. In fact, his speech has improved and he's able to have more eye contact with them. Still, they want to make it clear that they think the hyperbaric therapy has helped him, but only because they are also using traditional treatments at the same time. For more information on autism and the South Florida Center for Hope, log on to our website at WFLX.com.